Hello and welcome to Ginger Man. I'm back in the Highlands. I'm back in Glencoe and today we're taking on a Munro. It's Bukel Et of Moor. Look at that. We're going up there. It doesn't look high on the camera but standing here it looks high. Anyway, I've got a uh, mountain in Stephen with me so it's going to be a good day. So Bukel Et of Moor, show me what you got. Peace. It is a majestic sight and apparently right here this is the most photographed mountain in Scotland the Kellet of Moor it doesn't just roll off the tongue you have to go online and learn how to pronounce it properly and I might still not be doing that right either Here's our first obstacle, a bridge I've started off the day with a snack. I'm hungry and it's like a two and a half hour drive here. We left at like half five this morning. Anyway, look at this bridge. Here's our first site. It's a little cottage. Here we are. We're at the Scottish Mountaineering Club. Lagging rar over the hut. So, if you, I think you have to get the key somewhere for these. Or maybe they're under the rock. No key. No key. No, no key. They're just worms. So, just to confirm, if you come here, there's no key under a rock to get in. I'd have gone in and had a wee coffee and a look around. But, well, turns out, no luck. Stephen's away for a whiz, a pee pee, a wee wee. So we've checked online, it says this is like a five hour hike. Uh, I think there's a couple of actually Munro's at the top. I can't remember their name off the top of my, my head right now, but well, I'll get it out. But anyway, we're calling it the whole area, this, the section of mountains we call it more, so that's what we're calling this. Mountaineer and Stevens being bold and cold and going for a t-shirt. It's funny. I'm stretching for the thing, yeah? Aye. It's funny. I know, I'm actually stretching. I feel good. <laughs> so there's the A892. I think that's the numbers and letters. Anyway, that's Glencoe. That's it all in there, tickle tickle. And that takes you into the, the hidden glen. But here's where we're going today. Look at this bad boy. What a hairy one. It's minted. Aye. Look at this. Hang on. It looks being stroked by a stick. What is that? It's a hairy caterpillar. That's a big hairy, hairy caterpillar. Eat it. No. It's a rocky, stony path. <sighs> Things always get rockier the more west you come. 
We've come pretty west. Yeah, it's a nice path this, it's just a bit rocky and you have these little jumps to make every so often like you're playing Crash Bandicoot. Stephen's miles ahead. Look at this rocky pass. Landslide. I think this area is prone to avalanches in the winter. This is cool. the views heading east. It was towards Tindrum. That's the way we came. So my face turned bright red yet. We've picked up quite a ferocious pace. We're excited to get round away from the road. We're gonna have a wee break and because it's the first time I've been out filming up in Munro in good weather, I should be able to get the drone up. So we could be looking at some of the most epic drone footage I've had to date. Just keep watching, find out. Or if you're bored you can switch off. But I suspect things are going to get more exciting from here on out. Alright. Keep looking up, there's folk just doing rope, rock climbing up this side of the bukal. Unreal. I swear, I'd have to be getting paid a lot of money to be wanting to do it because I don't like heights as it is. I like climbing on flat grounds. That sort of vertical madness. No thank you. Imagine in the winter this would be one of those big slick ice drifts. You can see it already, this stone scramble section. These are the sections that you cross. So imagine water would trickle down here at some point too. But it's, oh, it's hella dry. Hella dry and humid. I've not cracked my water yet because I don't want to break the seal on my thirst. I know when I get too sweaty is when I have to take my glasses off when they steam some things. Sometimes gotta stop, take a breather and cool down. That's what I need to do right this second. Things are getting a bit more rockier. Oh that water sounds so refreshing. I need to stick my face in it. Nice, look at this. Oh I could definitely stick my head under that. Look at this bit. This is where we're stopping for our first wee snack and a cool down. It's me that needs a cool down, but this is lovely. This is why I like hiking in the winter. This is cool. Stephen's found us a wee, a wee spot. I think I'm going to fly the drone and uh, I'll share some information on this place before we get into the next section. we got a wee spot. So I'm going to fly the drone from. See what's up there. I'm, I'm starting to cool down a little, don't worry. Oh, this is lovely. Like this is the advantage with summer over winter. Look at the spot we're in. Look at the view back down. And we can barely hear the road now.
got the drone up and it was epic. Beautiful. Where do we break? How do we juice? So we snack and we're ready to hike. I've cooled down as you can see by the colour of my face. And um, before we set off, I just want to thank my patron legends who without I wouldn't been able to get here this morning with Stephen. So you guys are legends, your names are coming down the screen now like that. Or up the sc I think it's up the screen. It doesn't matter. If you want to be involved with your name in an episode, click the link below. Peace. Right, we've got to make our way back down here. We've seen some hikers ahead of us. Yeah, they passed us, so at least we know we've got someone to follow. We kind of get lost. Right, we're back on the path. Let the sweating commence. Look at that. Is that where we're going? Up there? I don't know. Stephen wants to just go straight up the rocks. Look at the view. It's been five months since we've done Ben Wars, so I'm a bit out of practice. Just gonna have to huff and puff through this together. Stephen's away, he's having a time of his life. I've caught up with him, he's just over there. There he is. Look at this, it's a going cold shiver. I kind of want to go under it, but also I don't want to be wet and in, in cold. It looks nice, it looks really nice. Look at the views. It's breathtaking. Take my breath away. Da -da -da. Just keep following that track. Are we going up there? Ah, that's yes, where they fuck up there. Holy shit. We're going to keep winding up there and wind through. Oh no, I thought we'd just done the hard bit. I feel like crying. Well, here we go. This will do nicely. Oh wow. It's getting steep. But we're going this way. This is the way the people are going. Sweaty face again. Sweaty, sweaty face. Just flattened out again. We're not sure the right path. There's loads of different wee paths you can go, it seems. But we'll just follow the one we've been on. <sighs> sweaty path, I'm calling it. We scrambly section. I'm just taking a second to take the breeze on my face. I'm gonna have some suntan at the end of the summer. Ginger suntan, it's more like a copper, a copper tan. Should I work out the right way? I've just taken a wee stop, had to have a wee seat for a pass out, but look at the view. It's unbelievable, Jeff. Bukela etiv mor. Um, is Scottish Gaelic for the great herdsman of Etiv, also known simply in English as Bukael, is a mountain at the head of Glen Etve in the Highlands of Scotland. Its pyramidal shape, as seen from the northeast, makes it one of the most recognisable mountains in Scotland and is one of the most depicted on postcards and calendars. There you go. Postcards, calendars, and now Ginger Man. There we are. On the side bit, we're not at the ridge yet. Are we at the ridge yet? How how long to the ridge? Oh, an hour and a half, he says. I'm not buying it. Oh, bloody hell. I'm in the trenches. I'm physically, mentally in the trenches here. Oh, dear. <sighs> See, when I'm editing this back with a cup of tea, just chilling, just remember, I was in the trenches. He's skidding down. Straight down. He'll definitely be quicker on the way down, that's for sure. Up that way. Up that way, 
So just going straight up the scree, he says. Scrambling up here. On my hands and knees. Look at this. Scrambling up the mud. How are you doing my Wednesday afternoon, morning? It's still 10 o'clock in the morning. So we've stopped at this bit, right, because Stephen um, hasn't done this one before and he sent me where he wanted to go because there's two types of Munros, there's hill walking routes and there's climbers routes. He sent me one and I've brought us to a climbers route without climbing equipment and we're not climbers, we're hill walkers so we're going to have to stop here and I'm going to fly the drone up because everyone's whapping their helmets out. Stephen's away free climbing up there like a mad guy. He loves it. I wouldn't recommend it and I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to chill here, have a sandwich and a coffee and get the drone up. Um, and maybe, obviously, we can come back here in like three or four years time and I'll film it with my helmet and I'll, I'll get to the top. But for now, I'm focusing on just hill walking because I'm not, I'm not good for heights. This is, this is perfect. I was getting a little bit anxious when we were climbing and scrambling and I was like, this is a bit mental. And then I was like, I think, I think we're on the wrong hill. People have got helmets and they're rock climbing. This is the curved ridge here. So I went online and I was looking at videos of people doing it and everyone's got their helmets on. Uh, so there's no chance. But Stephen, he's doing a little bit of happy climbing. There he is up there, if you can see him. And uh, there's folk up there as well, but I'm going to fly the drone up from this angle as well. So, you know, it's kind of like we got to the top, but one day, one day. As you can see, we went up the side and it's all just walking routes. Everyone's coming up with a helmet. Um, I'm going to take the L with this one. It should have been a hill walking route we took. But instead, we're on the side of a actual mountaineer climbing mountain. But it's all good. The curved ridge, we're at it. We're on the side yet. We're as good as at the top. Nice views here, looking over the glen and into Rannoch Moor. And right in the distance is Shahalian. It's fun at sections and then you get a wee wobbly tummy at some bits because you're like, oh yeah, this is it, this is me. I'm not going to stop. But you're fine. There's lots of lots of break rocks, but there's a lot of scrambly rocks too that slide about. You can just see a wee person walking through the glen. I wonder if they'll come up this way. Side note, I just stubbed my toe. It's a bit stingy, but it's cool. It's cool. You right there, sport? Here we go. It looks like I'm standing on a cliff edge here. I'm just taking my time, taking my time. I just scratched my side, scratched my hip on a rock. Listen, if the only injury I get today is a scratched hip, I'm happy. So 
of it would just climb through right here. And I think the worst of it's over. We're getting back down to sort of ground level soon. Eesh. This is a tricky one to film on and walk because there's so many slippery objects in your way, you kind of got to watch your feet. Is this the path? Yeah, we're going there. Alright, we found our path back round. I think so, kid. Just been a nice wee walk, scramble down here. I mean, you probably don't need a helmet at this section, it's just there, the Lord of the Rings section, you need the helmet for. But this bit, you're fine. There's a lot of scrambly rock though, so, you know, you've got to be alert and it can be slippery. That's the information I've got. Sliding down. Sliding down. Doing a safe skiddy bum sliding. But not the sort of skiddy bum you have with children. Just skiddy bum on rocks type of skiddy bum. <sighs> I'm talking rubbish. I'm getting delirious again. It's not so hot now. That's an advantage. I can't believe we came on a mountain climbing route. I'm gonna to have to definitely take the blame for this because I, I, I punched in the wrong place, wrong location. But when they're in the Gaelic, it's, you know, it's, it's not easy to differentiate between all the different names. Oh, they don't have like a meaning. You don't know what they mean. I know what this means now, but I didn't this morning. Whoa, whoa. I mean, it is a monster looking back up. The people that we passed with their helmets are up there now. We're just skidding on back down. Oh, should be back to the car in about an hour. I hope. Get the aircon blasting because it is getting sweaty warm now. I think it's about 12 in the afternoon now. So we've been here a good few hours. We've certainly, we've put the work in. Just a couple of helmets short. We're gonna just say that's Ben Nevis right through there, the highest peak in Britain. Still got snow on the top and it's June. It's June, uh, I don't know what the date is in June. 12th, it's June 12th, I've just been informed. Look at the views now, there's the drippy rock. I should probably go stand under it now, now that we're not at the top of the mountain. I need to have a sort of climax. That was good. Are we? A wee back wet. I didn't really get my hair wet so much. My arms are a bit cold now. Uh, that was. I've just been baptized by the mountain. It's like I, I kind of showed me. I made a point today that is, if you do come out on a walk, you don't always need to get to the top. I mean, your safety and getting home at the end of the day is utmost important. Uh, I mean, Stephen Mountaineering guy, he'd have just gone for it, but you know, I had to get the reins on him, pull him back in and say, look mate, I'll we'll get you home for your burn tonight. And he says, ah, you're right, let's go. And here we are, we're still having a good time. We're not back yet, but we're almost there. This is where we stop for lunch. You know, out of all the walks I've done so far, this one does feel the most like a Lord of the Rings adventure. Um, neither of us brought a ring, so there was nothing to destroy. No rings to be destroyed on this adventure. Are you the ship? Aye. This is very man. Look at this broad, eh? We can't see the mountain range behind now because we've come, we've come too low down. We're almost back to road level. But the, the walk back's been an absolute stroll compared to the walk up. The walk up was an absolute drippy, sweaty fest. But here we are. I keep forgetting how to say it. Bukelet Vimal 
Bukolo Vavamal, Baki Vaki and Ma Et Mall. Can you remember? Short term memory loss when I'm walking. Um, but anyway, it's a beauty. What a location we're in. And as I say, you go right, right along this road and you're into the Hidden Glen, which I done last year if you want to go back and watch that. Feel free, enjoy yourself. Get another cup of tea on, have a biscuit, Jaffa cake. Look at the views. We were just all the way up round there, trying to get up there. Failing. As you already know, forgot our helmets. Well, we don't have helmets. It's amazing. Right, we're back at the White House. Since the car's just up here, there's an ambulance up there. I hope there's not been a, a disaster or a fall. Polis as well. Oh no. It always reminds you, people do die up here. Just recently I seen on the news a father and son were up at Glencoe and disappeared, haven't made it home. So, you know, it's not to be taken lightly coming into the mountains and the hills. You have to be careful. You have to be have your wits about you. As you've seen, if you go back and watch my Ben Laura's video, things can go wrong. But I was lucky. I was lucky. Today, today I wasn't lucky, today I was sensible. It's very busy now. There's a right commotion going up there. It looks like someone's maybe fallen or slipped or I'm not sure. Who else has been dead? No, 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 So Bukala Et of Moor has been incredible. There is two peaks up there. I think that's one and that's one. And we didn't make it up either of them. But this area, Bukala Et of Moor, that's the, the range there, Bukala Et of Moor. And it's beautiful. I mean, I've said it, I've murdered the name a million times, but I've had an amazing day. I've loved it. It's been good to get it back out with mountaineering and Stephen, get a feel for it, get a sweat on. Because when you've not climbed a hill in a while, when you go back out, you're like, oh God, I don't want to do this, this is too hard. But eventually you get there, and it's well worthwhile. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my day and the dopamine rush I'm going to get now. Anyway, thanks for having me. Peace. Well, it was a lovely to see you. It's the end of the show. Bring on tomorrow. Where shall we go? Where shall we go? Say goodnight to the ginger man One last ice cream for the bearded man 